let's introduce isomorphisms and homomorphisms. Okay, so let's look at an example. If I have the triangle group we discussed last time, right? I start off with the triangle that I flip along C, right? So that I get out of it the uh, triangle BAC, and I then rotate it like that. Okay, so I get the triangle CBA. Now, for each of these, I identify via a map F, I'll call it, right? It just takes in elements of this and outputs elements of the permutations. And I output their corresponding maps. So this is the map ABC, ABC, bringing A to B, B to the A, C to C. This is the mapping bringing uh, C to the A's position, A to B's position, B to C's position, right? And then if I imagine doing it for this one as well, I get the mapping You can see that A is fixed, uh, sorry, A is not fixed, sorry, B is fixed here. A and C have switching, switching positions, okay? So, let's look at when I compose these two permutations, right? A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. Okay, so I do the map where I switch them, then I do the map where I rotate them. What do I get out of this? Well, A goes to B goes to C, A goes to C. B goes to A goes to B, B goes to B, C goes to A, right? You can see that's the same thing right there. In other words, if I call this map G, right? That H, and then this is going to be G times H, right? We have it that if I first brought G into the permutations, right, via F, and then I compose it with what I did with H when I brought it into the map, right? That's what I'm doing right here. So I'm doing the multiplication here. I should probably do something like that. Okay, and that's going to be the same thing as if I first did them and then applied F. So what this is saying is that I brought each of these individually into the world, right? Into this, uh, I'll call it H, I'll call this G. So I brought it from G into H, right? I brought each individual map from G into H. Then I applied them in H, right? Now if I go back to G and I were to apply them, right? If I were to multiply them, and then I brought it into the H world, it'd be the same thing. This means that the multiplication is the same thing, right? You're doing the same sort of things. That's the entire idea behind this. So, let's define this a little more rigorously. So, if... Uh, G under the multiplication dot, I'll call it, is a group. And H under a multiplication star is a group. Then we say that a map... F, taking elements in G, two elements in H, is a homomorphism okay, homomorphism if, as we discussed, F of G times H is F of G times F of H. This is the main idea behind a homomorphism. And there's a special property if f 
Is bijective. Is bijective. What does bijective mean? Bijective means that... Um, the image of G, right? The image of G under the map is H. Basically meaning for every H and H, there exists G and G such that F of G equals H. Okay? It's surjective. And it's injective. Basically meaning and... If f of g equals f of h, then g equals h. Now I can easily show you an example where this is not the case. The cosine function. Let me, it's very important for me to get that second arc. Okay? Because this is not a surjective because here's a point where you can find me no input, no input you can find me can give me a value that has the value on this dotted line. Okay? That value has no input that maps onto it. Okay? So it's not surjective. And given this point, I can find infinitely many points that have that same value. Okay, that does that means that if I can find right here x equals zero, right here x equals two pi, right or y, I'll call it y. You know for a fact that f of x equals f of y, but x is not equal to y. So this is not bijective. You cannot use this as an example of a homomorphism. And it's not even close to a homomorphism because it doesn't have this property. Okay, so let's do two examples which are pretty important. Okay? It's very important. So we say z mod 2z is going to be the set of 0 and 1 where... 1 plus 1 equals 0, okay? And then the other additions are just the normal, okay? And K2, Klein 2 group, is the set of negative 1 and 1 under multiplication. Now I'm going to write out their group multiplication charts, okay? That basically means that I'm going to write out all of their elements on the sides and add them up in each position. What's 0 plus 0? Zero? 0. 0 plus 1? Zero. 1. 0 plus 1? 1. 0 plus 1? 1. Uh, 1 plus 1? 0. Okay, now multiplication under the Klein 4 group. 1, negative 1. 1, negative 1. What's 1 times 1? One? 1. 1 times negative 1, negative 1. 1 times negative 1, negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. You can see this almost exactly matches this one. Zero, 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 one, negative one, negative one, one, negative one, one, and then zero, one. They all match up, right? One goes to zero, one goes to zero, negative one goes to one, negative one goes to one. So we can define a homomorphism, right? They look like their multiplications and their additions have the same sort of structure, right? So I could define the map f from z mod 2z into k2 as f of 0 equals 1, f of 1 equals negative 1, right? And this turns out to be a homomorphism. And they turn out to be isomorphic because this map is bijective, right? Okay, one more example. This one's a little more complicated. Uh, R under addition, the real numbers under addition, and R plus, okay, all the real numbers above zero, all 
uh, all positive real numbers under multiplication. These two things are isomorphic. And I can prove it by the map f from r into r plus, right? Bringing x uh, I should not call it r plus, I'll call it r cross r cross uh, bringing x to e to the x, okay? Why is this a homomorphism? Because if I do f of x times y oh sorry, f of x plus y, remember? f of x plus y because that's our operation here Plug in e to the x plus y. Oh, but that's e to the x times e to the y. Oh, but that's f of x times f of y. It's a homomorphism, and it's obviously bijective, right? Because if you remember the graph of e to the x, it looks something like that. And you can see at a single point, there are no matched values, right? And it also completely covers the entirety of the positive real numbers. Thus, we have a bijection that is a homomorphism, and thus R plus and R cross under multiplication are isomorphic.